Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a, have a look at this display dock for Windows 10 Mobile. This works with the 950 950XL recently launched, and you can see my review of that as well on our YouTube channel. Um, this is the continuum dock. The idea behind this is you plug your phone into this device and then you plug a keyboard and monitor mouse into the into the device and you've got a PC like experience using your phone and you can still use your phone at the same time. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna unbox it and then when I've unboxed it we'll hook it up with a 950 XL and have a look what we can do with it. So this is the display dock, it's quite a heavy little solid thing. Um, we've got USB C input there from the phone and on the back here we've got display port USB-C power, three USB ports, um, so you can plug your keyboard mon mon mouse monitor and another peripheral if you want, and then uh, all through that. Also included is a power supply and a USB to C to USB C keyboard cable, which of course you're gonna need to connect to your phone. Right, so let's get this connected up. Right, so I've got a monitor here connected to the uh, the dock. I've got a, a, a wireless keyboard mouse plugged in and um, I'm gonna plug the USB 3 cable into the phone. Okay, so there we are, up and running. So, first thing I'll just show you from the phone, you get the control surface, surface I should say. Uh, so if I tap up here, it's now working as a touchpad, so you can see the mouse pointer moving there. I don't need that because I've got a, a mouse on the keyboard, but if I didn't, then I could use that. So I could have a fold away Bluetooth keyboard and then use this for the mouse. But as you see, if I go here, I can um, load up Groove Music or uh, go into my email, whatever I want to do, I can do it, go in the store. You see all that's working on there. So I'll leave that there for a second, and now I'm going to use this keyboard and mouse. So here you go, you see the key the mouse moving. I've got the start button down there, click on start, or I could press the Windows key on the keyboard. And there we go, we've got the start menu up. So let's open um, Groove Music. So there we've got, I've got Groove Music open, uh, full screen on there. On the phone, if you notice, it's still got the store on there and I can continue to use it. I could take a phone call on that. We're using the dock. You could do this using Miracast and a Bluetooth keyboard connected to there. So let me say I'm going to play some music. Now this doesn't have speakers in this monitor. If it did, the music would come through HDMI and through here. The, the music will come through the phone speaker which is turned down at the moment. So there the music's coming through there. So on here I could be having, I could just press the Windows key on my keyboard, you see that? So on here I could uh, use any of these apps. Now you notice some are greyed out, it's probably a bit hard to, to see on the monitor. Some of these are greyed out, that's because they're not um, supported running in continuum mode. And I think these are really old style apps. But you know, the, the Microsoft Health app is like that, it's in a Windows 8 One app. The, the universal apps all show up, and if I go through the all apps list, you can see some like their Minecraft and Authenticator don't work, but the alarm clock does. BBC app play, I play it, although it works, it doesn't actually play, which seems really strange. And if you get to a decent modern app, I think like this is a universal app, the BBC Store app, this actually works fine and uh, I've used this before. So this is now going to play on here. So the sound through the phone, but at the same time, I can use this to go onto Outlook, or I can go onto Microsoft Edge, and I can use the phone. I can make a, I can make a phone call, and receive text messages, all that from there. And you can uh, switch, so I've got Microsoft Edge open down here, let me just switch around tabs. So let's say, so I've got Microsoft Edge open down here, but I can still go back to here, go on Microsoft Edge, and what it does is it moves the app from the phone 
up to the big screen like that. Okay, there, so there you go, there's Microsoft Edge working and um, it's for all intents and purposes the same as a desktop version. There's no plugin supported so Flash doesn't work or anything like that but um, the browser itself works perfectly fine and of course you've got access to your favourites and you can share things and you can do all the things that you you want to do um, with the desktop version. So that's Microsoft Edge and I can certainly I can switch back back to the store app and that carries on playing and I can switch between the two so it's like having a PC with dual monitor you can have you can have both on there. So there's uh, my email so there's my email and again it's just Outlook and I can switch back other apps I can go to my calendar um, anything really that um, isn't greyed out because it's a store it's a universal app it works on here as well. So here's a um, a Word document and as you can see it looks like the um, the mobile version of, the Word, of Word that you would get on a tablet or from the Windows Store and again you, you can just use this as you would normally, I can use a mouse, I can click and I think I should, you can cut and paste. Some apps I found you can even, you know, you can drag and drop like you would do on a PC as well. So you really are getting that um, it's full PC experience. All right, Team Viewer have got a, a, a universal app that you could do with this, and um, so you can have you can have Team Viewer and do remote onto a machine, um, remote onto someone's machine, and support them from here. You've got Maps. Mainly, these are Microsoft apps that support this, but it's not just Microsoft apps. Facebook and uh, Tweetium also work as well. So this is uh, Tweetium and this looks just like it does um, when I'm running it on my PC and I should be able to go to Facebook. So I've got Facebook working on there. So I've got the Windows Store. It's a shame the remote desktop app doesn't work. That needs updating. Hopefully Microsoft... I've got a feeling there's a beta version of it, but uh, it would be nice if you could have that and then you could remote on the machine and, and onto servers and do whatever you want. Microsoft's film and TV app or movies and TV app, uh, uh, depending on your region what it's called, works as well. So you can watch movies on here and uh, TV shows. and uh, So you can use it. You go to a hotel, you plug the, all you need to do, plug is the HDMI into the TV and then you can watch um, movies that you've rented. Uh, Netflix currently doesn't work, so hopefully Netflix can get that updated. Here you can see some of the apps that are, you know you can use messaging, uh, Edge, uh, Money. Um, Netflix doesn't work, see so OneDrive, OneNote, and uh, you can see some of the the apps that work, the phone app, PowerPoint. So you can do PowerPoint presentations on here. Skype, you can use the Skype video. The camera works with your phone, but you can use the the Skype video. So really you have got plenty of options uh, to run there. I think we'll see more apps on here as uh, time progresses and um, some maybe some of the media apps like um, like Plex and MB. This is the kind of thing we talk about in our new book Entertainment Apps on the go Windows 10 how you can get all these things to work together and I think this dot really has a potential to be um, a very rich PC like experience and I'm just going to show um, so I'll put a photo, here's a very boring photo of outside my office that I took with the 950 but you can see you know, it's a good way of showing photos as well so PowerPoint, Word, Outlook, um, videos, music all on the TV just with the little dock you can throw it in your bag and you've got your phone here the dock is supposed to cost £79 but it does come free uh, courtesy of a Lumia Office app that you get on your phone and uh, on the 950 and 950XL and then Microsoft give you that as a discount uh, a, a voucher code from the store, um, certainly in the UK and I've got that on there so that's the dock for the um, or the Continuum dock, Microsoft Display dock which is the Lumia 950 and 950XL 
a great little device that really does turn the phone into a PC-like experience. Perfect if you're going to hotels or meetings, presentations, or even in your home office. So thanks for watching this one. If you want to know what the 950 excels like, I've done another video of that, and you'll find that on our YouTube channel. You'll find our book and everything else on the digitallifestyle.com. Thanks for watching this video.